You know, in today's message, I'm talking about why a lot of folk don't understand why I make content about the modern woman and how she is self-destructing and how the home is falling apart. Today, I'm gonna give you all that truth. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah shalom thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode i'm back at it in the trenches hey pay no mind to the doggone darkness it is 5 32 a.m where i am and we about to get out here and get it if you know what i mean for this country oftentimes man i find the modern woman you know rebelling in the comments you know chances are if i'm making a message or a video about their modern woman in her rebellion, in her fallen state, I can usually find her in the comments. It's never saying like, man, I needed that, 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 I needed that rebuke or I needed that check. But you know, today I'm gonna give you some scripture that talks about why we need to encourage our daughters to walk straight, to walk upright, to, to, to be Yah fearing, you know what I'm saying? To be the women of the scriptures that the most high y'all was pleased with. Because if you leave a woman by herself, some foolishness is going to jump off. You see what I'm saying? If you leave her without a symbol of authority over her head, some foolishness is going to jump off. And that's, that's via Yah's word. A woman ought to have a symbol of authority on her head. You see what I'm saying? Biblical order. Christ is the head of man. Man is the head of woman. I know when I say that, people automatically think like, you know, it's it's some unrighteous control. No, this is in the Messiah. This is in righteousness. So today we're reading Ecclesiasticus chapter 26. Ecclesiasticus known as the book of Sirach in the Apocryphers. Ecclesiasticus chapter 26, verse 9 through 10. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. That's verse nine. Verse 10, if your daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. Matter of fact, I'm gonna give you 11. Watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespasses against you. That's all I'm gonna give you. But you can go back and read, you know, Ecclesiasticus chapter 25, chapter 26 for yourself. But I'm gonna give you just a little nugget right there. So when we talk about the modern woman being rebellious, not, you know, being qualified to lead because she don't have a symbol of authority on her head and she going to lead women astray. People don't realize how deep scripture goes in the wisdom of the word that he gave us. In the same context, I'm going to tell you, like, if you as a woman have a daughter and you are fast and rebellious and worldly, your daughter going to fall behind you in the same manner. And if you leave her unattended, she going to get into more trouble than what you was able to get into. Just the way that thing goes. If your daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly because she will abuse herself through too much liberty. But what, what do we got these modern women out here fighting for? Freedom, my body, my choice. All of this, all of this nonsense while claiming to love the Most High Yah. And this is why, you know, when I do, this is what make Closer to God Ministries different because I'm always going to give you that scriptural reference. I'm always going to give you that because it's a difference between having a feeling, having an opinion, having an emotion versus having the word of Yah and him telling us about ourselves as men and women, men and women. But some of the stuff that we're seeing with women in the world, Western women, modern women, man, it's like the most high y'all already told us about this. This is some of the same stuff that's happening. Like records, like, like scriptures like this is due to some of the stuff that was going on in Egypt, in Sodom and Gomorrah. You know, oftentimes the modern woman, the, the truth of the most high y'all is the, is the last thing she want to hear. 
And I truly hope a lot of the modern women that resemble a lot of the ways that aren't pleasing to the most high y'all, they get deliverance. They get deliverance, man, and turn from them wicked ways. Leading other women astray, getting out here, you know, not being modest, promoting everything of the world and nothing of y'all. Closer to God Ministries, kicking it gun barrel straight. Bow.